Peekaboo. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Oh, look who we have here. Do you recognize them? Mr. Putter and Tabby. In the story, it's a wintry, snowy day. And Mr. Putter's staying inside with his good friend, cat, his good cat friend, I should say, Tabby. And he gets an idea. He thinks, the title tells us actually what he thinks. It says, Mr. Putter and Tabby write the book. But writing a book might be harder than Mr. Putter thinks it is. This book was written by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Arthur Howard, and this book was published by Harcourt, Inc. Here we go, friends. Three wonderful chapters for us. Chapter one, an idea. In the winter, a big snow always came to Mr. Putter's house. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, liked big snows, but they couldn't go out in them. They were too old. Mr. Putter might slip and break something. Tabby might catch a bad cold. They didn't mind staying in though, because Mr. Putter's house was so cozy. It had nice soft chairs. It had velvet pillows. It had a fireplace. Staying in was all right when everything was so soft and velvety and warm. One day, Mr. Putter and Tabby were inside for a big snow and Mr. Putter got an idea. His idea was to write a book. He had everything a writer needed, a soft chair, a warm fire, and a good cat. And he had a pen and plenty of paper. I have always wanted to write a mystery novel, Mr. Putter said to Tabby. So he brought out lots of paper, lit the fire, plumped his chair, and got ready to begin. First, he had to think of a title. He thought and thought and thought. Finally, he told Tabby, I shall call my book The Mystery of Lighthouse Cove. It was a very good title. It was full of mystery. As a boy, he had read lots of books with titles like that. Mr. Putter was so pleased, he decided to fix a snack. He went into the kitchen and fixed a big apple salad, a pan of corn muffins, some custard pudding, and a cheese ball. Mr. Putter spent three minutes on his title and four hours on his snack. Then he took a nap. Mystery writing was not easy work. Chapter two, the title is actually chapter one. On the second day that he was a mystery writer, Mr. Putter had a nice long breakfast with Tabby of oatmeal and tea. Then he settled down to write again. But first, he had to stoke the fire. Then he had to clean Tabby's ears. Then he had to find a sweater. Then he had to move his chair closer to the window. And then he had to move it back. Then he settled down again. He was ready to write. Mr. Putter looked at the walls and he thought. He thought and thought and thought. Finally, he wrote chapter one. He began to think some more. As he was thinking, he looked out the window. A rabbit was in the yard. Such a nice rabbit, Mr. Putter said to Tabby. The rabbit made him think of Easter, and Easter made him think of boiled eggs. He decided to fix a snack. He went into the kitchen and fixed 20 boiled eggs and a vegetable stew. Mr. Putter spent one minute on chapter one, 
and three hours on eggs and stew. And then he took a bath, then he took a nap. Mystery writing wore him out. Chapter three, good things. The third day that he was a mystery writer, Mr. Putter woke up ready to write again. He liked being a writer ready to write. First, he and Tabby had cinnamon toast and tea. Then Mr. Putter petted Tabby and began to think. He looked out his window thinking. He looked at his fire thinking. He looked at Tabby thinking. Mr. Putter thought how blue the sky was. He thought how warm the fire felt. He thought how nice it was to be with Tabby. He thought about so many good things that he began to write them down. Good things, yellow cats, old sweaters, cinnamon toast, long baths, good dogs, rain. He wrote and wrote and wrote. Mr. Putter wrote all day long. When he finally stopped writing, the big snow had melted. Mr. Putter went next door with Tabby to visit Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog, Zeke. They had some French fried butternut squash for supper. Then Mr. Putter read good things. When he finished, Mrs. Teaberry said it was enchanting. She said, Mr. Putter was a wonderful writer. She said she could listen forever. I wanted to write the mystery of Lighthouse Cove, Mr. Putter said sadly, but I wrote good things instead. And I ate too much and took too many naps. Mrs. Teaberry told him not to worry. She said the world is full of mystery writers but writers of good things were few and far between. Mr. Putter did not feel so sad then. He did not feel sad at all. In fact, he was thrilled. Every writer loves a good review. To celebrate good reviews and good neighbors, Mr. Putter took Mrs. Teaberry and Tabby and Zeke out for vanilla malts. And Mr. Putter had so much fun and thought of so many good things that he could not wait for the next big snow so he could be a writer again. Oh, Mr. Putter, I love you. And I miss you, friends. I miss you. 